What's up guys, it's your boy, Reform Stoic, back with another video. This one is entitled, Baby Boomers Don't Understand What's Happening to Young Men in the West, or something like that. Um, this is more or less a response to the video, but more so the comment section of the video. Why is this generation struggling so much? Um, this is Chris Williamson, and he's interviewing Scott Galloway. But it was really once I got to the comments and just started looking at these older people going back and forth. You know, this lady talking about her son who got back from the military. Yeah, let me just read this comment right here. This whole conversation has me terrified for my son. He immediately went into the military, which was great. It was the only thing he ever wanted to do. He never planned for anything else. He ended up hating it, and when he got out, he stagnated. He lives with me. He works at a grocery store. He spends the vast majority of his time at home vaping and playing video games. I'm a single mom. I did everything I could to teach him how to be a good man, but obviously I can only do so much. Well, we'll just have to take your word for it. His dad dipped out when he was two, so I gave him other male role models as I could. Basically, like, you tried to have him pal around with the guys you were sleeping with. But what do I do without just ripping his balls off being an overbearing mom? I want him to go to school. I want for him to find fulfillment. I want him to have a life. I want him to want those things too. Now, I believe that in another comment, yeah, here we go. So in another comment, his sister moved out when she was 18 too. She went to college, went to graduate school, got a job, has a career, bought a house, and is doing well. So what's the difference? I have been insisting he enroll in post-secondary to continue on with what he liked to do while in the Navy. He is thinking about it, but I feel like he is just losing ground, wasting time. Whenever I push, he shuts down. So that's ineffective. Okay. We're going to go ahead and go from there because I'm seeing all kinds of these kind of comments. The son stagnates and he joined the military. Now, the, joining the military is a great option that a lot of people say, oh man, if you join the military, you're going to be set. They're going to pay for your school and they will pay for his school. They'll pay for, it sounded like a two-year school in Michigan or something where he's at, but he doesn't want to do anything. I don't know the son. But yeah, and then she has a daughter, and the daughter did fine. She went to college, just just skidded right through college, and and got a degree and has a career. And all these boomers are like, yeah, yeah. I I also like know somebody who has a son and a daughter, and daughter went to college, got right through, got a career, and she's doing great. And then the son just, just kind of shuts down and vapes, and and then you see the boomers kind of trying to figure it out, and it always has to do with like men being lazy or being driven oh it's the video games these video games are just killing men's drive and then you know that video where this comment section is the guy started off pretty good i mean he sounded pretty like pro-american government talking about the concerns of tiktok and all the anti-american stuff on there and how maybe china is just trying to like put an emphasis on anti-american stuff anyway he ended up starting to cover the issue of what's happening to men and he proceeded to blame it all on them and that, again, same kind of thing these boomers in the comment sections are doing, saying that it's the video games, the internet is giving them too much uh, easy dopamine and they just don't want to try. Well, they don't want to try, but that's not the reason and it's right in your face, boomers, and you guys are just missing it. And this isn't something that's just dawned upon me now, but after reading these comments, it dawned upon me that this is something that I feel like I have a lot to say about. Because also in my personal experience on Facebook, I've seen locals in my hometown trying to figure out what's going on. I've had discussions with people from church and they say, you know, these high school guys they just want to play video games. They just want to stay at home. And I look around at these women and they're just whoosh. What is that, boomers? What is that? How come whenever you have a daughter, she just goes to college and whoosh, goes through college, 
gets a degree, gets a career, and then men just are stagnant. It's like these men hit a wall, and then they're all like dizzy, and they just want to play video games and vape and hang out in your basement. Why is that? Is it because we're figuring out that women are better than men? Are we realizing that men were actually stupid for all of history and that women were always better and that finally we've stopped oppressing women and finally we've realized that uh, men are inferior to women? Well, there's a lot of like women who want to beat their chests in the feminist era and, you know, in light of like the past feminist, recent feminist eras and where we are now with feminism and I don't want to be too bitter about these points that I'm going to go over, but it seems like it hasn't even occurred to you to consider that it's not young men's fault. Now, what you'd probably like to see them do is just go and take on whatever this mysterious problem is, you know, like... Some of these boomers probably realize that they're facing something. There's something dark. He's facing something dark, and I just don't know what it is, but I want him to be driven. I want him to be happy. I want him to go to school. His sister went to school, and she just whoosh, just got that degree, and just whoosh, got a career, and man, it's just like women are just like rocketing through life, and it's like men just aren't driven. But is that really what's happening? Let me tell you what's happening. The black pill is a very sizable portion of what's happening. And I'm putting my foot down and I'm calling it. Because the black pill is kind of taboo. You don't really want to be associated with the black pill, okay? When when a man starts talking about the black pill in any sort of a light that's anything other than virtue signaling against it or... It, with low effort trying to refute it or speak against it, it's um, it makes you look bad. It makes you look like you think you're blackpilled or like you think that you're hopeless with women. Because this is what it's about, boomers. What it's about is that your son feels hopeless with women. I would say that would either be one or two... And it's in a very close competition with hopeless, with financial prosperity. But I'd say the younger men are probably a little bit more naive to the financial situation. But you have men who start out possibly pretty career-driven. I mean, he was in the military, probably realized the military was tough. Maybe he wasn't, like, really up there in terms of rank in a number of different ways. Maybe people gave him a hard time. And um, so it sounds like he hasn't even tried school yet. And he doesn't really want to. He kind of just wants to hang out, smoke a vape, work part time, and live in your basement. Well, let me tell you why that is, boomers. Because that's about as good as it gets for men in this generation. All right? Women are through college because everybody loves women. Conspiracy theory alert, I think they're grading women on a curve, okay? I think universities are giving women better grades. I think there's some secret conspiracy to give women better grades. Maybe not, but maybe so, okay? It's a 50-50. You can't, like, just take me out of the picture, okay? I feel like that's maybe happening, okay? Um, This is an over-adjustment for the inequalities between men and women. Because in reality, for the majority of history, men kind of wore the pants, and well, that's where Western civilization came from, and that's basically where everything came from. And now, in the last, what, 70 years or so, feminism came into the picture, and then, you know, the boomers seemed to do all right with it, but that was the that was the early stages And then it blossomed into Gen X. Gen X did all right, but then it really kind of like came to full bloom in the millennial and Zoomer generation. And women are just college, careers. They're they're amazing. And then men are just kind of in your basement, smoking a vape. What's happening? 
Seems like I kind of been kind of been like dancing around it for quite a while. Well, I'm gonna give you a reveal. Everybody wanted to fall in love and get married. Okay, that is like the main driving force behind people doing things, behind men doing things. Okay. The men and women get their little ooey gooey feelings at some point in their early teens and they start having these thoughts like, you know, I want to find the girl for me and they look at their ceiling and they listen to whatever the heck it is they listen to something that's not like mumble rap, hopefully, but now that's pretty much what it is. But maybe some of like the auto tuned emotional mumble rap and yeah, I love you girl, Uh, like whatever, dude. They listen to their ooey gooey emotional music and they think about how they're going to get married someday. It's dawning on men very early that they are not crap to women. And this is now backed up by pretty high level statistics, okay? The Hill, 63% of men ages 19 to 29 single with only 32% of women in the same age bracket, single. That's a big deal. Somehow, there's half as many single women in the same age bracket as there are men. So, for whatever reason, you can only speculate, and I can only speculate, but I have lived my life. I'm 32 years old. I believe that even the older millennial men, like myself, many of them are in this same boat, and if anything, they're holding back the statistics from the from the older age bracket because they're trying to keep society from panicking more than it likely already is beginning to. And I've been paying very close attention to this process, and now I'm starting to kind of gauge the boomers' reactions. And I'm seeing the boomers talk about their sons with their vapes and their basements and the video game. I don't know what it is. My daughter, whoosh, college, career. My son, oh, video games, vape, basement. They can't get women. They can't get women. And it's harder for them to do well in school. I think that it's because school is a more positive environment for women. Women overall tend to be nicer to each other, despite what some people might say. Like women are like, yeah, you go girl, you go girlfriend, or yeah, girlfriend, let's slay, queen, slay. Women are very positive to each other. Men are very competitive. And what we're finding is that with dating apps, women, any girl of average looks or beyond, which I would say basically any girl who isn't overweight. Okay, that's the nicest way to say it. Any girl who isn't overweight, they're going to be nice. They're, they're going to be likely to have like a decent body. Okay, her face is whatever. To be an average looking woman or above, you have to not be overweight. And then honestly, like some of them maybe arguably are overweight, you know, thick, thick is in style or, you know, some guys like bigger girls. I mean, honestly, online dating for women is an entirely different universe than it is for men. Your average woman, okay, let's assume that she's not overweight. As soon as she gets on that dating app, she's going to get hundreds of matches. And she is going to find men to date, sleep with, whatever she wants. Every single college girl who isn't overweight, and I would even go as far as to say is isn't obese, has access to dating via dating apps. And average men do not. An average man is going to have to, like, get his war face on and approach, 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 rejection, 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 swipe, 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 nothing, 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 one match, ghosted, one match, bot account, one match, sure, let's meet up, ghosted, Um, one match, date, nothing, like, ghosted after the date. Men are getting shut out of dating, okay? And this is backed up by statistics now. 63% of 
of men 19 to 29. Just no cigar, nothing. And boomers are really struggling to understand the severity of this. And while boomers are like, what is my dang old son? Doesn't he know the value of hard work? The millennials and the zoomers and people like me, we've been like creating the science of the black pill. And Chad, maybe you've heard of this Chad character. Maybe you've seen a couple of these memes of this strange, daunting man with his striated abs and his tall figure and his square jaw. Now, apparently studies are starting to show that most women find this particular man revolting. But that's not the point. <laughs> that's not the point. It's not, it's not Chad himself. The, the meme is just a meme. Memes are just funny and a good time. I've had, I've had quite a good time, boomers, with the Chad meme. It's what Chad represents, okay? Maybe he's not necessarily 250 pounds with, like, uh, like as square of a jaw, but it's these tall, lean, good-looking... I mean, girls like, the girls like all kinds of different things, but there's, there's patterns, okay? Tall. Women like tall men, six foot or higher. Lately, it's starting to sound like six two is the gold mean. I'm starting to argue with guys about this, and it sounded like girls, you know, with this big boy trend on TikTok, they want them just about as big as they come. Six four, six four, two hundred and twenty pounds, lean muscles. Maybe they're on steroids, but th they like also these pretty boy skinny guys. Um, you know, broccoli top fancy hair, like Zoolander good looks. I, I don't quite got it going on. I went bald early. I'm five foot eight. This is kinda why this is kinda why like I have an idea of these things. But this isn't just my speculation, boomers. I'm talking to the baby boomer generation because I wanna help you guys. This video is for baby boomers to understand what's happening to their sons. Okay? And then maybe the very, the older, the very top of the millennials are, are Gen Xers too. Gen Xers, the older Gen Xers and their sons. You want to understand what's happening to your kids. This is what's happening. Is that they do not meet the height requirements, okay? They're well under six feet. That could be a big part of it. And then it's like, oh, well, I know a guy who's five foot seven and he slays with women. Well, that guy probably like has a very attractive face perfect hairline, maybe he did sports, well-adjusted, okay? You were probably crappy parents, I know, I'm sorry, I I'll bet you you want to, like, try to argue with me about that, but chances are you guys were crappy parents, okay? That's kind of, like, what it's looking like, okay? So, so your son didn't have a great upbringing, and he's not very good-looking, and he's short, or he's just not especially tall, he's not especially good-looking, because a lot of guys will be like, well, you know what? I'm six foot one and I can't meet women either. I'm not, I can't describe to you the perfect man. I'm a straight male. I like women. But um, women just have this particular taste in men. It's looking very much like hypergamy. There are actually other studies that would show, that show like, I don't remember these exact statistics. I just came across these studies tonight that a very high percentage of men or women, high percentage of women do not want to date men who live at home, single men, but there's a very high percentage of women who would be fine with dating married men or men who are already in a relationship. So it, there's studies that kind of suggest that women would prefer to share high status high caliber men rather than have their own lower status men and that's exactly what's happening that's what i believe is responsible that that's what i believe is the explanation for only 32 percent of women in the 19 to 29 age bracket being single when 63 percent of men in that same age bracket are single i believe that they're using date apps dating apps to effectively take turns dating and sleeping with High caliber, high paid, good looking, higher status men. And your son does not have to be ugly 
to fall into this lower tier. 63%. For your son to fall into this 63% category, he does not have to be especially ugly. He does not have to have an especially terrible personality. I'm probably pretty far down, okay? I'm pretty low. Like, I'm probably, like, like just riding the line of average or below average in my looks. My personality is a little bit rough these days. I'm not really, like, I'm pretty far gone. Your son might be better looking than me. Your son might be more charismatic than me. Your son probably makes more money than me. But he still does not meet the threshold of men who are able to date. Period. Period. Like, if you don't meet a certain looks and money threshold in this society, you cannot date. Period. And that is what the black pill had been talking about years ago. And that's what the, the statistics and data from these studies, like the Hill study, 63% of single men, is starting to show. Is that we are now living in a caste system where all women are queens, yas queens, slay. And when they go to college, it's like they're on rails. Oh my gosh, so many girlfriends. Oh my gosh, so many hot guys to date. Wee! And then they graduate. Well, of course I'd love to hire a nice young girl for my job. You're a girl? You have a degree? Hired! Wee! Because that's what girls do. That's what girls do. Oh, I guess that song's That's What Friends Do. I can't think of any girl songs. I'm a Barbie girl. That's probably not the best song. Life is like Disney World for women, okay? Boomers, your daughters are living in Disney World. The teachers kiss their asses all their entire lives. Yeah, feminism, power, feminism, yeah, 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 yeah. And they're, I think they're grading them on a curve and giving them better grades. And then they go to college. And then, wee, and they go get a bunch of good grades in college. And then everybody kisses their ass in college. A bunch of guys like, hey, wow, you're so beautiful. Yeah, you want me to help you with your homework? There's women bragging about how they get guys on Tinder to do all their homework. Wee! All the way to their bachelors. Or screw it. They might as well get a master's or a PhD. Because everybody's kissing their ass the entire time. And they're getting good grades the entire time. And they're, they have their selection of infinite men all the time. High status men. Because these other average guys are invisible to them. Your son is invisible to these women who are your daughter's age, okay? Your son, unless he is exceptionally, like, tall, like, six foot two, six foot four, 185 pounds, 205 pounds, ripped, athletic, great hairline, dresses well, not autistic, like, smart, in line for a high paying career, okay? If that's not your son, he's in the cold. And if he's anything less than a normie, okay? Because now there's like a political war. If like he can like bench, if he can like bench, pre bench press his body weight a few times, he's probably not a leftist, okay? He's probably considered that like feminism isn't going so well. He probably sees some issues with like immigration. If your son like, is strong and like has any testosterone he's probably not like a raging leftist and that's going to cause problems with dating because if if you are an average man you basically have to like cuck out to women um they don't they don't want to date guys who like have any right-wing opinions and basically we're living in proof that like the left is a massive mistake like everything leftist is just topsy-turvy insanity like men are living in proof that the left is wrong about just about everything except for economic matters but let's not let's not make it about politics okay because i'm not just trying to like be facetious here i'm trying to help you understand and you're probably sitting here like well this is absolutely ridiculous and this guy just doesn't want to pull himself up by the bootstraps and er, like no, no no you got to understand see because you guys were terrible parents okay this is partially your fault because for your son to have Chad maxed as much as he could have, 
it would require him to have a very good upbringing where he's not insecure, where he wasn't like getting gaslit and, you know, it, where he never ran away from home. He needed to have a really good life at home so he could be super confident and fun loving and so he could deal with situations in the right way. But you probably blew it a little bit. And um, so he's also maladjusted and he's either average looking or not enough above average looking or he's below average looking in which case it's over for your son so what your son is probably starting to think is like well i could uh work really hard and um spend all my time at work and come home to an empty apartment because i can't afford a house no matter how hard i work nobody has helped me get like a good job I'm struggling to get the jobs in my field, but you know, this lady in particular, her son hasn't even gone to college yet. So he's thinking, wow, I could like go to college and struggle to meet women and struggle to make friends and learn about like how everything is my fault, even though I've never even had an opportunity to live my life yet. Well, all the women around me are, we, I'm going to sleep with this six foot two guy. I'm going to sleep with this six foot two guy, six foot two guy, six foot two guy, six foot two. These women go to college and they get ran through and then they get ugly piercings and they get ugly tattoos and we hate white men. We hate white men. Well, statistically it's showing that probably they're sleeping with a lot of white men. Just they have to be six foot two and perfect looking. This is what's really happening. Women are using technology to sleep with tons of six foot two amazing looking guys. And your son can't get anywhere in life. The best he could do is jump through hoops to impress mommy and daddy and work 60 hour weeks so he can come home to his empty apartment. And what's he going to spend that money on? video games and it sounds like he was already able to buy those video games without working 60 hour weeks so why not cut out the middleman and go straight to the video games okay this country sucks now and there's nothing left to work for and all the girls that he looked at and thought oh my gosh i want to marry her someday she banged like 10 different six foot two chad football star guys and he realized, wow, I'm not attractive to women. And there's not really like much of a reason for me to like try. Now, maybe there's just a tiny bit of hyperbole on all this. And maybe if he tried really, 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 really hard and like met some good luck and opportunity, he could make it. But that's not what women are doing. Women are, wee, wee, college degree. Their ass is kissed the whole time. Tons of dudes kissing their ass and buying them stuff and sleeping with them. We career, we climbing up the career ladder. Like, life is not as hard for women as it is for men. And boomers are not acknowledging that. You guys are fully all about all this feminist crap that you voted in, that you didn't live in, that you forced your kids to live in. And also, that video where the comment section is what I'm responding to, they pointed out that the systems in place that boomers have been voting for are funneling money from the younger generations to the older generations to where the first time in history we are seeing the youthful generations that are making less money and have less wealth than the generations before them. So that's what's happening to your sons, boomers, and um, you should probably stop blaming young men for what's been happening to them because let's just leave it at that i think the good times might be about over unless everybody makes a great effort to understand what's been happening so that's all i have for you right now guys i hope you enjoyed that good luck with your sons boomers you're gonna need it god bless